So you guys remember that wannabe juggernaut in the Kai Perico heist that although is armored up to the teeth, still dies in one headshot or one melee hit to the back of the head? Well, not anymore he doesn't. It appears that in a recent background update for GT Online, they gave his helmet to bulletproof protection, and it now takes a good 6 or so shots to the head to kill him. Which with most weapons will give the Juggernaut enough time to turn around and either kill you or alert the guards of your presence. And you also cannot perform a one hit melee animation on him anymore either, no matter how many times you press the B button or the circle button while behind him, you just won't melee him. And if you try to use an actual melee weapon, good luck because he doesn't even react to it, he just stands there firmly tanking the hit before just shredding you. So needless to say, he's no pushover. Except that's not exactly true because the new way to take him out very easily is literally by pushing him over. As funny as that may sound, to take him out while solo and while retaining stealth, all you have to do is go into first person mode and then just casually push him over and then stand on his body for a few seconds until his blip disappears from the map. And that's all there is to it. So while I can tank half a mag to the face, he dies from tripping and falling over for a few seconds. I have to assume this is some sort of mishap and it's not intended to be this way because if you try this method with any other of the guards, like the non-juggernaut ones, it doesn't work. Like it, you, you can tackle them over and they'll stay there, but they'll eventually just alert the other guards and you'll get spotted. So it's definitely weird, but hey, it works. Some other ways you could probably take him out with guns are to use the shotgun. The shotgun shoots multiple pellets at once, which will penetrate the helmet much faster than just shooting one bullet at a time, because I believe the way the helmets are programmed is to block a specific number of bullets in general, after which you can just headshot them normally. And the type of bullet has no impact on this, so he'll take six sniper shots or six pistol shots. It doesn't really matter the caliber of the bullet. I could be wrong on that, but I don't think I am, because that's the way the bulletproof helmets have always worked in this game. Really, this isn't going to change much. If you're a solo player, you mostly just avoid the Juggernaut anyways, but even if you did have to kill him, you can just use the push method that I've showcased here, and it's really not that much harder. So that's going to wrap up this short video. I just want to let you guys know what's up about the situation. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP-related content. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.